What is going on guys, it's your boy Dim Stem on to Vside Tan Tigers Row 1, the Bengal Dragon. Make sure to hit that like button, uh, subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, Tan Tigers Row 1, Twitch and Instagram, follow me on Instagram as well, hit that bell, not bell notification button. Welcome to another episode of Casu uh, Casual Cinema Chat. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the Us movie. Now, spoiler alert, if you want to avoid spoilers, please turn off this video right now after it, like, uh, preferably hitting that like and subscribe button. All right, but that aside, let's let's get what I let's get into what I thought about the movie. Now the bad things first. Uh, parts of the movie were a little too dark. I mean, the lighting was not good, and I watched this in one of the best lit uh, theaters. You know, like in one of the mo clearest screen theaters. It's not like you know the projector is so far back that you can actually see a circular shape on the screen. Y you can see the lens shape on the screen it's not it's not one of those theaters where like you know just to accommodate like seven eight hundred people they just do whatever okay now this is a more of a smaller one uh, where the screen brightness and contrast was actually pretty good and in that to get such a uh, poor lighting for a good amount of the movie uh, it was a little distracting so I had to rely much more on sound and dialogue and certain parts of the movie dragged on for a bit too long. Because I thought this is a two, two, two and a half hour movie. This could have been easily a one hour, 40 minute movie or something like that. <coughs> and there are some minor inconsistencies here and there with, with the acting and whatnot. But apart from that, I would say this movie was actually, this, act this, is, this is actually quite good. This is a b mixture of a horror slash slasher slash a little bit of a suspense movie. Yes, there is a twist in the end. Yes, there is some there are some explanations left hanging. The the story is like you know the 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 actual backstory of like you know all the people are kind of vague, which may okay you know to add that to also an, an, another. Uh, uh, flaw in the movie that the backstory was not uh, developed properly. That yeah, there there are people who like build versions of you know clone, excuse me, uh, who clone versions of of you know human beings and send some to the sewers, send some to the surface. So, like, kind of like scrolls or some shit. But anyways, um. So that was uh that could have been explained a little better. Also like you know why do some of them look a little different? In fact, if I'm not mistaken the like maybe I missed why exactly this was, but this entire family was black. The original family. Yet Jason the kid, the human kid was black. But the sewer kid was white, was ghost white. Maybe I, maybe I missaw saw something, or there was, it was a math. But you know, like, that's one of the things that was kind of weird. But yeah, um, the directing, I would say, it was done well. You know, you know, all the parts with the, with the, with the uh, Alexa knockoff playing fuck the police and all the slashing going on, and then like you know, uh. I believe uh, uh, there was another song going on as well. It was it was a class. It sounded like an Outcast song. I can't quite remember what it was, but it's a classic, classic hip hop tune. That was that was done pretty well. Even <coughs> and uh, even the end part where the mom goes and fights uh, her clone. That was done. You know, I would say that was done kind of well. I will not say pretty, w I will not say excellently, but I will say kind of well. Although, in the end, her acting looked a little off. She, she seemed a little psychotic to find her kid. But yeah, um, in look, y here's the thing. When a s if you want a slow burning story, you have to put enough exposition in the middle to keep the fires alive 
which I thought this movie sort of didn't do. At one point, I'm like, okay, we, we, we jumped to the boat scene, we jumped to the neighbor's house, we jumped to the kid, we jumped to uh, the mom. I'm like, okay. We're getting this sequence like eight, nine times. I'm like, okay, we get it. All of them are being attacked. So what's next? So that's all, you know, that's what I said. Like, you know, uh, some parts of this movie dragged on a bit too long. The acting for the most part was, you know, was actually decent. Uh, although I didn't expect uh, that that guy, that leader of the Jabari tribe to, to, to like, you know, to show up and and play such a passive role i thought he'd play a bit more of an active role but overall i would like you know i would say this was a i wouldn't say this was as good as get out N like no no get out was for me like a nine maybe a nine out of i forgot what what rating i gave it, gave it but i gave it a very a very high rating like nine nine and a half out of ten type of movie this one i'm giving it a maybe a at best a seven out of ten or maybe realistically six 6.75 out of 10 but i would definitely recommend you to go watch it it's not something you'd watch twice it's definitely better than sorry to bother you like you know it's definitely uh better than that uh the comedy parts in this movie were not that good e either that's also something that, that you know they could have worked on but yeah it was nice to see like a slasher type movie so I, I give I give I give credit to the producer for that. So, so so I thought I thought that was you know, that was also like you know, one of the better parts of the movie. And also like you know, in terms of uh, let me get back to the directing again. Like you know, like how some of the clone family showed up all of a sudden, just killing people, and like you know, the different sound effects and the and the ambiance uh created before jump scares i thought that you know those are done like you know pretty well but yeah you know what i'm gonna give it like a seven out of ten so yeah thumbs up movie definitely you know go check it out if you have the time like a, a bit over two hours long definitely go check it out if you have the time uh i wouldn't recommend watching it twice but yeah uh if, if you if you let's say like you know you have like a a movie off a movie ticket off or on let's say uh, on one of the days let's say like you know f for here we had a, a tuesday offer and like you know you have some time to kill definitely go watch it. it it is not time wasted trust me all right that's about it guys let me know what you guys thought about the movie if you've seen it already in the comment section below and as always hit like and subscribe and the bell notification this is the both the time on the side the call dragon signing out